Hey guys, my name is Kenzie Oliver, and today we're gonna be creating a composite. A composite is when you take two or more photos and you put them together to make one photo. So what we're gonna do today is we have probably about six photos that we'll actually use. The main one is of a model throwing his hand up. So it looks like he's throwing something, there's not actually anything there. And then the rest of the photos are just photos of face cards. Um, and so we'll take all of those and put them together to make it look like he's throwing the face cards. All right, so we are gonna start out by taking the face cards out of the original photos. And this is pretty simple to do. Um, you just need the quick selection tool and then mask it. And so the quick selection tool, you just find it in your toolbar and everyone's toolbar might be designed a little bit different, but mine is at the top of my toolbar. So I'll grab that and then I select my whole card. Um, try to get like a pretty good edge and just be a little detailed about it. Um, and then go to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and press the mask button which is it'll be a rectangle with a little circle in the middle like a kind of like a donut hole missing from that rectangle and I like to mask it because later on I could come back and unmask the edges if I, if I want like a more refined edge so you don't have to be perfect on getting the edges on these and that's why I like to just mask it instead of getting rid of the background completely. And so I'm throwing all of these cards onto the same background so it'll be easier to just choose from. And I know I won't use all of them in the actual photo, but I don't have options. So I'm gonna speed this up for you so you can not have to sit and watch all of these be taken out. They're all the same process. And notice how in the, the blurred ones, I was hoping just to like mask a few in. And so I, I didn't just take out one face card. I kept the whole group and was gonna just mask them into the background. Even though I didn't end up using them, that was kind of the idea behind it. And by mask, I mean blend. So the next thing is to put the cards into the photo with the model. And so I have them all in that one document and just brought them into this photo. And so now I just start playing around, honestly. Um, move them, move the cards around and see what looks best where. And resize them to, to make them look like they actually fit there. Something that was important was to have the same lighting with the cards and the model so that it blends well. And so I didn't have to use any kind of blending mode or blending tool or even contrast and saturation or curves in order to get these cards to blend. All I had to do is resize them really. And that's not always the case, but it worked out this time. And so I just kept playing with them to see what looks best. I, I started out with him with the cards right above his hand because I knew I definitely wanted that. But I didn't know if I was gonna put cards anywhere else in the image. And with this card, what I did is I just wanted it behind the other one. And so I pressed Command in the left bracket and you just I just kept pressing the left bracket until it was behind that other card. And there's other ways to do that, but that's just how I did this one. The last thing was just that one card and to resize it and that's all I used for this. And like I said, I kept playing around with it but eventually I just liked the simple look of those cards and kept it like that. And then this is the, the final image 
and I know the coloring and the texture looks a little different, but I have another video to show you how I did that.